Hiya, this is a an old BBC Master series computer. Um, that's the, the last that they actually built. Um, I, I found this getting thrown out about 15 years ago and it's been kicking around. So I'll try and see if we get it to work um, or to some sort. We'll see how far we get. So if we look inside, uh, one thing I didn't like about this uh, different uh, BBC was that it has volatile memory for setups so you need to have uh, set batteries and they tend to leak obviously if it's an old machine um, so that's the first problem with them. Another thing about the uh, BBC computer range which was an issue was if you notice there's absolutely no shielding. Um, I have uh, known these to be used as noise sources for EMC testing uh, because they radiate lots of um, interference. So I'll try and switch it on. Sounds good, but uh, put the video on. video as well. And you see we we have um, it working, it's coming out on a display here. Um, what I haven't mentioned was I did have a bit of trouble getting to this stage. The um, video output, I had to invert the the sync pulses. There are basically RGB and uh, a composite sync comes out of the, the BBC's computers. Um, most uh, monitors are basically for PCs so they have horizontal sync and vertical sync as well as RGB so this one is actually working just off the horizontal sync in order to get the video working with the LCD monitor I had to invert the sync pulses which I managed to do here this is a, a link, it's smart as link 5 on the board. Uh, I had to cut the connection because it doesn't provide any connect, uh, pins on here. And I've bridged it with this little wire here just now to give me the inverted. Uh, later I can solder in uh, some pins with a jumper on it like that. Uh, and that would give me the options. And in fact the old BBC B model had uh, jumpers in place. It's just something they've omitted in the, the Master series. So this is the sync output on a scope and what you're looking at here is the inverted signal from normal so normally this lines up here and these pulses are going negative. Uh, I've inverted it. This one you see travelling across the top is the frame and these are the line pulses but so it's synchronising on the line pulses. Just while we're here I'll just point out this is the uh, processor here. This uh, chip is a 6512 uh, rather than 02 processor so a slight in, uh, change from the original BBC B um, but so as a board board layout changed quite a bit uh, in the master good old basic so the next thing to do with this is to see if we can get uh, an old a floppy drive to work. This is a bit more of a challenge because this is actually out of a PC. Uh, we'll see what happens. So I think got somewhere. Drive one forty. Not that easy to read. Uh. Ooh, this looks interesting. Can't remember the commands. Oh no! I'm out of range. I've got a video problem. Still, that looks quite good. <laughs> So that's interesting. Um, the monitor is not quite quite there. It obviously loses the sync. Uh, so I needed to do a bit more there. But um, otherwise, I seem to be able to read my discs again. That's quite amazing. They haven't been read for 
Whoa, what's that? 30 odd years, I guess? Brilliant. Oh, oh.